So anyways, uh, here it is. It's not really... Anyways, um, it's not really packaged real crazy well. Um, yeah, I mean, there's no foam padding or anything, but anyways, uh, hopefully everything is all in it all as well. So here's the controller. I know this is really starting to become a uh, thing here on uh, YouTube with unboxing these things. Here's the pump. <coughs> okay. Power cord. And the cord. Oh, here's the light sensor. Doesn't look messed up. Wait a minute. There's two light sensors. Huh. There's one there. And there's one here. Huh. Anyways, uh, here's the pump. Oh, bubble wrap. Here's the pump. Um, initial feel of the pump is, uh, I don't know, it's got some weight behind it. Got a feeling some of that's this magnet. Um, yeah, the pump, it, it feels, you know what it feels like? I'll be right back and I'll show you exactly what it feels right, guys, like. So I'm back at it and I told you I was going to tell you exactly what this pump felt like. So here it is. Tunzi. Feels exactly like a Tunzi. Tunzi has a little bit of a uh, flimsy front, um, I don't know, cowl here, I guess we could call it. Um, the uh, WP40 seems a uh, really solid. Uh, build construction really um really thick plastic and it's not flimsy so uh, yeah let me put the tunzi back together here real quick all right so here's the tunzi right here i don't think it's going to stay in this position <gasps> oh excuse me so a uh, very similar build um and the brackets sorry that was a stutter the uh the actual brackets for the thing are uh Oh, it fucking hurts. <laughs> they're they're fucking almost identical. Um, they look exactly the same. So um, I got a smashed finger. That was so stupid. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the WP40 on this side of the tank. I'm gonna turn every bit of water movement off in this tank. Um, the whole left side, the whole SPS side of the tank is off right now. Um, the water movement you see here is coming just from the uh, the return pump. Um, obviously, I took the Tunzi out, and this one is off. Well, you can't see it. The sail pump is off, though. I'm going to turn these two off and the uh, big pump down here, so there's not going to be any water movement in here. The only thing I'm going to run in this tank for this video is... Uh, the WP-40. So uh, I'm going to get to installing this and we're going to crank this bad boy out. Hope you all are ready for a long video. This is going to be a total in-depth. I'm going to go through every cycle that this thing has. I don't want to plug these pumps. So as you guys can see, the WP-40 is installed. All that noise you hear is my pipes draining because I turned off all the water flow. Only thing running for water flow is the skimmer. So you can see how stagnant this water is right now. No movement whatsoever. Return pump is off the light would be on that circuit protector only pump in there is the Jabo uh, 
WP40. All my other pumps are right here. Um, the cord coming from the pump goes into this uh, funky little connector. These are actually the same connectors that are on my uh, LED lights. Um, power supply is going to plug into uh, this one right here. I haven't done it yet because I don't know if it's going to turn the pump on. So I'm going to go back to the tripod and start playing. So uh, let's see if you guys see anything. Actually, you know what? you guys on this side of the tank which is opposite of the WP40 so I'm gonna crank this thing on right now I think lights on so we can get a really good view of this. So on that's completely this where you guys are right now is the opposite end of the tank. And there's a WP40 over here. I'll move you over to this side of the tank here. What's going to be my good test coral here to show you guys the movement of the water is going to be the Euphelia Garden. So let me go ahead and move you guys down. And like I said, we're just on straight flow right now, high, all 13,000 liters, which is like 3,400 gallons an hour. I'm not going to turn the actinics on just for sake of uh, it not blowing out the camera too much. I am using a crappy camera, guys, so uh, I apologize. So uh, you can see the euphelia back there moving. I really wish I had a better coral to uh, kind of spot on, but these ones have the most movement in my tank, and as the lights get brighter, the light gets worse. Let me see if I can do something about this. All right, guys, hopefully this is a little bit better. So as you can see, I'm still on the high mode here, first setting. Um, next one I'm going to go into is low. I don't know if you can see how much the... Uh, hammer and everything is moving. Let me see if I can't move you guys a little bit closer here. Sorry guys, the tripod is really spread out. So I'm having a hard time dealing with it. There you go. Oh, I'm going to back it right out. There we go. So, that's going to be a good view there. And then as I, I get the pump going, I'll show you all the other coral. Um, so anyways, here is the Euphilia. Um, just kind of getting blown around. Um, it's moving the sand bed quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is go to the second mode, which is just low. And there we go. Uh, it's definitely slowed the uh, surface agitation down quite a bit. Let me uh, go ahead and raise you back up to the surface here. Surf oh, don't worry. Surface agitation has a... Uh, slowed down quite a bit actually a lot so now sh I would call this like stream mode almost to be honest um, very subtle very nice movement I, I like the look of it so there's my surface agitation this is all the way on uh, low oh, I'll bring you guys back down now so that's a uh, low Second setting, sorry guys, this does not focus. So now we're going to go into uh, wave mode one. So let's see what this gets me here. And that's going to be, okay, I'm on a really fast pulse rate right now. 
So I'm going to give this a minute to start uh, moving this tank around. It's definitely, guys, you can definitely hear the pump. I'm not going to lie. Um, you can definitely hear this pump. Very nice uh, surface agitation. I really like the way it's uh, moving the surface. I want to see what it's going to do with these corals down here near the bottom. You can see there. So this is fastest pulse rate. I'm trying to think of what I can really compare this to as uh, noise wise. It's not really loud at all, but you definitely, definitely can hear it. I just, I can't put my thumb on exactly what it sounds like. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and raise y'all up to uh, the surface here. Let you see the wave going on. You'll see it as we pass by the surface of the rim right here. Look, see, that's a good little wave. Now, that's a 220 gallon tank, guys. You can say hi to my nori sheet again. I gotta loosen this. It's hard to move. There we go. There you go. Now, this is the fastest pulse rate. So, I bet I can get this tuned in here and uh, really get this tank swaying. So, that's what I'm gonna play with now. You can see the anemone kind of moving. I don't think this is the frequency for this tank though. Go back to uh, these coral here. Now I'm going to start tuning it in and I'm going to start getting a really good wave here. Wow. Okay. Very interesting. I'm very impressed. Um, much more impressed than I was expecting to be. I'm definitely, definitely getting a wave. I'm going to go ahead and uh, see what I can do to tune it in a little bit more. Sound, you know what it sounds like? It sounds like a cell phone vibrating. That's what it sounds like, like a cell phone vibrating on a table. I'm starting to get a pretty good sway here. I don't know if you can tell there on the hammers and stuff. The anemone really shows well. What's going on here? There's the surface there. I lost a lot of surface wave here, but uh, what's going on down deep here is uh, pretty impressive. So I'm going to keep trying to play with this, tune it in a little. I think if I had two of these on this tank, it would be insane. I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed in uh, how much this is moving the water. This is the opposite end of the tank here. Let's let you watch the surface agitation for a sec. Definitely some fine tuning in this, that's for sure. So this is the longest pulse right here. Oh wow, yeah, there we go. I'm really starting to get a uh, monster wave going here. Very cool. trying to find that frequency where I can really get this thing shaking, rocking and rolling, but it might not be quite strong enough, just one of these on this tank. But I'm definitely, uh, 
impressed with it. I'm not displeased, that's for sure. This one gets rolling here. This setting right here on W1 is a good setting. Uh, where I got the dial turned. This one really gets it shaking. Bring it back down here. See the Gorgonian. Hammers, frog spawn. Donkins, candy canes, everything's swaying. The anemone is like, fuck. <laughs> That's insane. So, okay, I'm going to back the camera up and you guys got to see this wave going on in here. Now, remember, this is one single WP40 on a 220. Oh, I can't really. I'm going to set the controller down. My camera's getting ready to die. That really, really sucks. So, look at this. That's massive. That is an easy one, one and a half, maybe two inch wave. That is nuts. Here's the other end of the tank. That is the frequency for this tank right there. I'm going to get a marker and mark on the controller where that dial is. That is the frequency for this tank. No doubt about it. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll splice in a video on uh, coral details with polyps with a good camera so I can zoom in on the polyps really well. So uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and play with the other settings. I'm going to get a marker real quick though and uh, mark uh, this setting right here. Alright, I'm back guys. I'm still on mode 1 with that ultimate setting I believe for this tank. So uh, what I'm going to do now is hit the mode button right here. This pink, purple, reddish, pink, purple, wow. Uh, this button right here that my thumb is on, I'm going to hit it and we're going to switch into uh, W mode, wave mode 2. So let's see what this gets me here. So what I noticed with wave mode 2 from what I can hear with the pump, it starts off high or low, I don't know, it starts off low or high, I don't remember where it started at, and it ramps itself up. Yeah, it starts off low, goes high, ramps itself up from low to high. Um, that's kind of a cool mode. Definitely a random mode, that's for sure. It actually does really good on uh, moving the coral around. It's not as uh, aggressive as wave mode one. I kind of like this mode. Uh, let me see if this dial does anything. Big time. So it's the shortest, longest, or I'm sorry, longest pulse, longest wait time in between pulses. Well, you can tell when the pulse comes by, there's the pulse there. So I'm going to turn it all the way up to the fastest pulse and let's see what happens. This is kind of a cool mode. Alright, so now I'm going to hit the mode button again. We're going to go to uh, wave three. It's the exact opposite, starts off high, goes low, ramps itself down from high to low. So let me turn this all the way down and see what it does. This is a cool mode too. 
Um, last mode is uh, else. Else mode. So I'm going to hit the button again. We're going to go to else. See what this does here. This is kind of switching between all of the modes. Has like a <laughs> intermittent um, pattern and then it goes to wave mode 2 then wave mode 3 it just seems like it's switching between all of them that, that's a really good way to get a really random flow there uh, and then it has this is just high mode again that really whips this puppy around that's insane <laughs> one little power head well, big power head it's actually a fairly decent sized power head um, then we got a 10 minute feed, which is what I just clicked now. You hit this blue button, goes into feed. Then it has a lock mode, and uh, you just hold down, I think you just hold down the feed button, I think, yeah. Hold down the feed button, and it's locked, supposedly, even though I've seen it where people, like, see it doesn't lock it. Like, I'm switching modes. So, it does, the lock doesn't work. The lock doesn't work at all. It's definitely switching between modes. So the lock is garbage. It does not lock out. So I'm going to take it off. So uh, feed mode is going to be pretty cool. I'm going to go back to this ultimate setting here. Actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit feed mode. I'm going to let the tank settle down again to where there's standing still stagnant water. And then I'll let you get a good look at the wave starting. Very impressed uh, with this pump. Uh, the tank is uh, 84 inches by 24 inches by 25 inches. So this thing definitely moves some water. Um, right now the, the uh, Jabo WP40 is on feed mode. Uh, the propeller is not spinning. I still got a little bit of water movement, um, and this this pump really gets this entire tank just rolling. I cannot believe it. Um, I might still put a power head on this side of the tank um, just for the SPS. Maybe the I'll leave the small Tunzi in there still. Um, maybe the Corellia. I'm not really sure. Um, so let's see. That's the total there. That thing's like 3,400 gallons. My Return pump is like 3,400 gallons, so it's it's moving a lot of water. I'm really impressed with that. All right, so I pretty much got stagnant still water now, not much moving. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off feed load, and I got it on my really awesome setting that I just found. So I'm gonna turn it off and let this pump start. Oh, it's magic. You definitely hear this pump, guys. I'm not going to lie to you. It is loud. Not insanely loud. Like I said, it sounds like a cell phone vibrating on a table. That is exactly what it sounds like to me. There you go. This thing is, that is the ultimate setting for this tank right here. Takes it a while to get all this water moving, but it happens in a hurry. That I will not lie about. I'll be interested to see uh, what the wave action is when uh, the return pump is turned back on. I'll be interested to see uh, what changes. There we go. I got the wave going there. Well, it's still kind of making its way up to what it should be. Uh, what I am worried about, about having a wave like this in the tank, is uh, the sloshing noise it might make in the overflow box. Um, so I guess that's just something I'm going to have to uh, deal with when I get there. And I'm definitely going to take a video of up-close shots of uh, the SPS polyps and stuff with a good camera. And I'll mix it into the uh, video here. Awesome. I am... Uh, Thoroughly impressed, actually. Yeah. 
definitely got the pollen moving over here. Very impressed. That's for sure. I'm definitely thinking I'm going to put a pump still back over there. Um, to keep those SPS rolling. Uh, so yeah guys, here is the uh, Jabo WP40 on a 220 7 foot tank. I'm very impressed. I'm not disappointed. So uh, anyways guys, I will uh, do the clip now of the uh, close-ups of the polyps and stuff. So enjoy that. So guys, real quick, I wanted to show you this. Right now it's in night mode. I got the cover or the sensor covered up with my hand. And as you can see, the prop is spinning. Very gentle flow. Most of this surface agitation is coming from my uh, return pump. So now what I'm gonna do is let go of the sensor and the pump's gonna come back on. So here we go, one, two, three. There we go. Pump came back on. There's the sensor. I gotta trim that down. Let's see, watch. I'm gonna cover it again. Night mode. There we go. And there we go. We get our action started again. Night mode. Everything just calms down. I am going to really enjoy this feature. Here it is. Uh, bringing you the movement vid as promised. There goes the NEM. Now, can you guys hear this thing? Sounds like a cell phone vibrating to me. There's the bubble coral. Hammer. Not sure there's going to be any polyp extension on this one right now. Spongotus back there has got some good movement. You're not going to be able to see. I can't zoom in close enough. Here is the uh, Euphilia. Awesome movement. Green star polyps. And guys, I don't know how to reiterate. I don't know why I'm going to reiterate this again, but 220 gallons this thing is pushing on that is just <laughs> I am so impressed uh, let's see we're gonna go up on this shaggy guy up here this is where I'm getting my movement at over here not sure Slimer is gonna show off for us Yeah, sort of. Scripps Millie's moving around pretty good. Pink Lemonade moving. Uh, nothing's really bushy right now. That's what she said. Lights aren't supposed to be on right now, but there's no way in hell I was waiting for the lights to come on. Very impressed, guys. Very, very impressed with this pump. No doubt. That rainbow stylo is looking nice. And I noticed, this is a coral I don't pay much mind to, my Sunset Monopora, and it's starting to encrust up the uh, overflow, and it looks amazing. Camera's going to do this bad boy no justice. Uh, let's see if we can get David's favorite right there, Flashlight Acro. 
See if we can't get its polyps moving. Sort of. That thing's got great polyp extension. Yeah, guys, definitely impressed with the pump, that's for sure. Duncan moving around. Candy cane's not getting so beat up from the one way flow. This side looks yellow over here because no blues are on. This thing, I forget what it's called. Amazing. I am totally impressed. So, uh, yeah, and I mounted the uh, controller up here in my hood. And I have the light sensor on it. I'm going to do a test right now, as a matter of fact. Um, to see just how sensitive. I want to see if this is going to go into night mode. Nope, no night mode yet. Okay, let me turn everything off since I need to do that anyways. Off. Went into night mode. Look at that shit. Hell yeah. Um, guys, um, if, if you're watching this video and you guys had this complaint about having to install this night sensor, I mean, don't take any offense, but come on. That was the easiest install ever. You just slide it right into the slot. And I'm going to enjoy the hell out of this feature. This is going to be great. Um, I mean, literally took me half a second just to slide it into its slot. I, I find that not to be a complaint um, at all. Um, this is an amazing pump. Uh, do I recommend it? Uh, at this point, I'm not going to say it's going to be the best pump. Would I recommend it to somebody on a budget? Hell yeah. Um, now as far as the uh, quality and longevity of the product or the pump, um, that obviously has yet to be determined. Um, but I can tell you right now, I am definitely going to push this pump to its limits. So yeah, there it is guys. Night sensor on. Uh, I'm not going to turn the light back on because the halides are hot and I really don't feel like messing with overworked ballast and light bulbs just not liking anything um, I do want to see if it'll come back on though now I'm curious maybe this flashlight will work, got a blue flashlight here for coral viewing so let's see if this turns it on there it is it's on I'm going to turn the flashlight off into night mode, I love it, I love this feature anyways guys, there it is Finally got it. Hope you enjoyed. Peace.